verbalization, expressive, receptive language, vision, cognitive function, these are all developed over time. And as we begin to help children, what if, when going through your child's healing, some of the initial behaviors or challenges that you experience start to become, maybe not necessarily worse, but more. What does it mean? Well, we know that the brain develops like a flower from the bottom up, from the back to the front, from the inside out, and from right to left. And as it develops like a flower from birth through the trajectory of life, we develop more complex tools to be able to interact with our environment. Some of those tools are reflexes, are gross and fine motor movement, verbalization, expressive, receptive language, vision, cognitive function, these are all developed over time. And as we begin to help children ascend through this developmental hierarchy, they start to get more complex tools that allow them to have a larger interaction with their world. Easy way of thinking about this is a baby, they, a baby for the first month, two months of life, they really don't interact with the world too much outside of what's directly put in front of them, what mom puts in front of them. Once we start to get head control, we can start to turn from side to side and choose what we view and interact with. It gets even further when we learn to roll over, even more interaction when we learn to crawl, and then when we walk, we're go, 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 go. And with each of these developmental milestones, there becomes more interaction that we can have with our world, but interaction also means increased demand because there's more things that we can put into our brain, more input, more function, more ways that we can interact. More demand, more interaction requires more focus and brain energy diverted towards that task in order to ensure that the child can actually do it. So sometimes what will happen, what we'll see is as we start to ascend this high developmental hierarchy in healing, is that some of these behaviors or challenges can be just more for a short period of time. And that's okay, right? Because that happens as we begin to have increased demand in our brain because we're able to process and do more things and our world gets larger. Now I'll tell you, mom and dad, this isn't the first time that you've heard this before because you've probably noticed while your child was little that they had these massive sleep regressions. Talk to your pediatrician and they say that's a typical four month sleep regression. And they're right, that happens all the time. But why does it happen? It happens because the tools of their world become so much more. They can interact with so much more. And gosh, there's so many things to do. How can I sleep, right? They're excited. They want to explore. They want to use their new tools, the new things they can do to interact with their world more. And that's not a problem. That's not something to be treated. That's something to be encouraged. Use these new tools. Allow for this brain development. So if you guys are going through a challenge like this, we're here for you. Let us know. If you see a new behavior, a new aggression, we're here for you. And we know that this doesn't have to be your story. By eliminating interference going from and to the brain from subluxation and encouraging and stimulating the development of new proper appropriate pathways in the right order, we can help each child blossom like the flower that they are, just the same way that a brain develops like a flower. If this message hits home for you, let us know in the comments. Share it with a friend, family member, or loved one. And most importantly, get to our Unraveling Neurodevelopmental Disorders workshop next month. We can't wait to see you there.